problem 5. What is the value of the following expression? So when you see this on the test, this should be one of the first few questions you tackle, because this is just pure algebra, and pure algebra questions typically involve a neat pattern, or they can be brute forced. Now when I see this question, notice the similarity between the numerator and denominator, because I now want to evaluate this inside out. While it's possible and easy to do, I want to make it faster for myself. 1 minus 1 over 3 squared, 1 plus 1 over 3, 1 minus 1 over 5 squared, 1 plus 1 over 5. There's a pattern here, and the pattern here is that this is all perfect squares because we know that 1 is just 1 squared. So we know that the denominator, right, is just the square root of 1 squared minus 1 over 3 squared, or rather 1 over 3 squared, multiplied by 1 over uh, times 1 over 5 squared times 1 minus 1 over 7 squared. Now, treat 1 as 1 squared. So if we were to treat it like this, and that becomes the square root of 1 to plus 1 over 3, right, times 1 plus 1 over 5, times 1 plus 1 over 7. Now, that's all multiplied by the square root of its conjugate, which is 1 minus 1 over 3, times 1 minus 1 over 5, times 1 minus 1 over 7. Now, the, the numerator remains the same, of 1 plus 1 over 3, times 1 plus 1 over 5, plus 1, or times 1 plus 1 over 7. Now, the reason why I did not simplify is because of the similarity here. I factored it into something that both numerator and denominator share in style. Now, move this conjugate, right, this, um, this first square root to the numerator by multiplying it by, if we were to call this term a, by a multiplying by a over a. If you were to multiply by a over a, then the denominator, then the square root in the denominator right here gets canceled out, which this entire term right here cancels with the numerator, which becomes what? Which becomes the square root of 1 plus 1 over 3 times 1 plus 1 over 5 times 1 plus 1 over 7, all over the square root of 1 minus 1 over 3 times 1 minus 1 over 5 times 1 minus 1 over 7. Now, the property says that square root of a over square root of b is equal to the square root of a over b. Therefore, this becomes the square root of the conjugate over another. So to do that, what is it? Well, 1, one plus 1 over 3 is 4 over 3 times 6 over 5 times 8 over 7 times the conjugate, which is 3 over 2 times 5 over 4 times 6 over 7. Uh, wait, 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 that should, 7 over 6, rather, so 7 over 6, make sure you not make those silly mistakes. Now we can just cancel everything out and we'll be done. So 7 and 7 gets cancelled, we know that the 5 and 5 gets cancelled, we know that the 6 and 6 can get cancelled, we know that the 3 and 3 can get cancelled, and we know that the 4 and 4 can get cancelled, so we're leaving us with 8 and 2. Now what is 8 divided by 2? That's 4, therefore that's equal to 2, bringing you to answer choice B.